I had a major, major crisis in which the Directors Guild came to my aid back when I was starting out. Uh, they had to support me. They had to really call some people on the carpet, and they really got behind me. And from that point on, I saw the power of what the Directors Guild could do to really support young filmmakers who don't have the juice. And as I got more into it and got more involved and started going to the meetings, I realized that they had this thing called a minimum basic agreement. And the minimum basic agreement was what, you know, when their Directors Guild started, these really famous, well-established directors like, you know, names that you would know, King Vider and John Ford and people like that said, let's create an agreement that the people who aren't us will have rights. And the people who can't dictate these things will have these basic rights. And that'll be the minimum that you can do for a director. And I thought that was such a great idea. It was like using their juice and their power to establish a base for everyone who is starting out. And, and then I saw it in action with me. And then I thought, this is an organization I want to support. As new people come in, I want them to know about this. And I want to see how an organization can actually support them to, to get to cut the film the way they want to get, to get residuals so that they don't have to necessarily be scraping and starving between jobs and, and all this other basic health care and pensions for when they retire. So um, I just got sucked into it, and before long I was on the board, and now I'm the first vice president, and I'm just stuck there, and I can't get out. <laughs> it's a horrible situation.